it, so I'm not looking great today, but I um, figured I'd get out here anyways and try and revisit some history. Uh, we're actually out here at White Tanks again, checking out the Sonoran Black Loop Trail. That's going to branch off of the Petroglyph Plaza uh, to the left as you're coming from the parking lot of the Waterfall Trail. And then we're going to see some, see some Petroglyphs today. So, again, Ho'okam. Uh, more, more that I know about than some of the other indigenous tribes, but we're going to get up close, maybe see some, uh, some critters. Who knows? Here we are. Again, it's going to be about halfway up the trail. We're going to branch off to the left. All right, so we're getting quite close to Petroglyph Plaza. Uh, I'm debating going up to the waterfall because I think it might be running right now. Uh, so maybe jump up there real quick and then uh, come back down and hopefully get some shots of those photos before it's dark. Now a lot of times you go to these places and uh, you'll find new things and I just did right now. I, I haven't seen that before. Take a look at that. I'll tell you, as dorky as the selfie sticks look, uh, they're pretty handy in getting shots like that one. Just a, you know, a remarkable shot that I couldn't have gotten without crawling on the rock, and I, you don't want to do that. You want to be very careful out here um, when dealing with nature and its many uh, laboratories. All right, I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. This is pretty cool. All right, so this is some indication we may have or may not have some uh, some some rainfall to see and again I got a real brief video a while back with some students out here um, of the rainfall coming like coming through the waterfall but I, I didn't get much time to spend on that because we were we were with a group of students and had to focus on them on these on these boulders so hopefully maybe today we'll see it running that'd be a pretty pretty neat experience Things let me get really close, like shockingly close. I'm really close to this sucker. I, I could almost touch him. That's a beautiful shot, though. Now, I'm not quite sure if we've observed these ones before, but I'm not sure if it's a rainfall or um, what, but I, I don't believe I've seen these ones right up here next to the riverbed. Again, I don't even know if it's from the rainfall or what, but these, these designs, these markings, are clearly intentional. I don't, and, and, and they, they don't generally appear to be graffiti. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to wonder if maybe the rain might have washed away some 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 grime and actually um, resurfaced a lot of these because I, I've I've not seen a lot of these petroglyphs. All right, with my extended equipment. <laughs> um, last time we were actually at the spot, the snake right in the bushes. I was trying to see a. Petroglyph. Now let's see if we can not encounter a snake, preferably. So we've had quite a few of those on Revisiting History, and then even some unsuspecting ones like uh, the Gila Monster, right? So if you haven't seen the Gila Monster, check out the Skyline Crest one. It's a long video, but it's got a lot to it. You can see all the petroglyphs on that one. Absolutely stunning. Anyways, up here is going to be the tank up here. Everybody thinks that this is it's tank. Where the place is named after. It's actually named after the, the general white granite tank that eventually collapsed in. And uh, they say they don't know where it is, but there's maps going back. At least to as far when they existed. So I don't see how that could be. I bet a little bit of research could find that white tank. So you see behind me, it's going to be another petroglyph spot. Uh, we've covered it pretty thoroughly, I think. Another, another lizard. Um, so I think I'm going to keep going, but I want to hopefully try and see the Black Loop Trail before it gets too dark. Um, but 
I think I hear some water running. Now, I legitimately think there's been more graffiti since the last time we were here. This is, those don't look like they were, of course that one's bad. I still got that one up there safe. Check it out, you might not be able to hear it very well, but it's running, it's running for sure. Oh yeah, it's definitely running. Usually runs down the steps. You can see this little pool right here. It's, it's trickling down the steps, you have to walk up. And then, have a little bit of water here. And it does extend back further. I got family back just pretty fun one, but look at that. It's pretty crazy. All right, so we took a uh, dive, trying to get to the waterfall itself. Had a little bit of high water today, so let's check out uh, what happens when you do things that uh, aren't necessarily safe. I should always be precautionary in these measures, so it happens. See, I scraped the money a little bit, but more concerned about the water that uh, fell into, so not bad, but a little bit of blood. Coming back down, there's more shot for the road. Beautiful city, right? <laughs> well, hopefully that water's not contaminated. That'd be unfortunate. I, I would say that this sums up this trip. This is a stink bug, in case you were wondering. Some things are just ironic. This is the second one. And, uh, let's see if we can get him trigger. I saw my buddy who I interviewed recently trigger one of these things. It smells pretty nasty, but it's funny. Okay, it looks like he's disturbed by my presence. Leave them alone. Oh, and I forgot, quick a shout out and mention to my channel. Please subscribe. Um, the whole reason we came out here today, or I came out here today, was to get some footage of some petroglyphs and then got excited by the waterfall, got distracted, and then got injured once more. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll pull it back in. We're gonna get those rockets finished up over the weekend. Uh, the, I told some people the tutorial was coming. It is coming. It's just not coming as quickly as I thought. I'm having some issues with some of the measurements that I made and trying to fix that. Um, but we'll, we'll see more revisiting history coming up soon. And uh, we've got the Sonoran Black Loop Trail coming up as well. So we'll go to that one another day. Uh, right now it's a little dark and like I said, I want to clean that, uh, clean that blood up before I get some sort of nasty waterborne infection. So. You guys uh, have a good day and uh, like and subscribe. Kind of just been reflecting on the way down and I think that uh, it's part of the process to get injured, you know? It's kind of like um, the way things used to be, particularly. I mean, think about all the hazards that people had to endure out in the wild and uh, often died because of them. Another stink bug, cheese. Um, and I uh, almost forgot where I was going there. And I think, um, I think that we, we, we forget what it was like to live in a world that we had to encounter uh, you know, face to face. And of course, this encounter is, is particularly miserable. But, um, you yeah, know, just, just remember, it's, uh, it's, it's wild out there. This is a world where you can get hurt in and uh, yeah, your actions have consequences. Better or worse, I record these things and try and document the history and uh, inspire people to get outside and, and revisit history and then I also I also suffer the consequences whenever I, I mess up or I fail so you know whether it be rockets or um, crossing wet rocks or um, you know walking on you know backward trails you have to always be careful and make sure you're taking the proper precautions I actually didn't have any safety equipment with me today so I'm walking around all bloody but um, you know, that's part of the process you learn and uh, I, as I start to take on some of these more uh, challenging locations, uh, this one's not typically challenging, but as I take on some more of the more challenging ones, you'll, you'll see an escalation of my safety levels, uh, which, I, which, I, which I think everybody should, should embrace. So uh, safety first, don't forget about that, but revisit history.
all the things I can say from today, I think it's uh, it's important to say that my lungs feel good. The, uh, the walk, man, it just it, it really does open you up and, and make you feel good about your yourself. And, and I think it really does do something good for your body to get out of nature um, and, and test yourself to some extent, right? Um, but like I said, get out there and uh, don't let a little bit of scratches stop you from doing the history.